we're having a bit of trouble with player one. So what I've done is I've taken the tape out of player one and I've put it in player two. And I'm able by this button called back in here on the controller, I'm able to pluck the time that I entered on player one and then set it into player two. So that you can access all these time codes within the um, edit controller and juggle them about and put them where you like. So that's, I don't have to go look for the clip again because I've done that already. So I plucked it out of player one and I've planted it into player two. So hopefully now we'll have a little preview and we'll see what happens this time. Let's see if player two plays ball. But Sick people one. who were close to him, he was hopefully very, that's, very difficult. Hopefully that's fact, the almost sound. Sadistic, I'd say. I, I would say that uh, John Davis really was good for me. Yeah. Yeah. So that Fantastic. we're happy with that. So we'll hit the red button there. So that's the oh. edit button called record. But people. Who so the machines are now synchronising again, joining very, those two frames fact, together. I, I would say that uh, John Davis really was what could term him the Caligula of the cinema. Full stop. I think I'd stop there. Come out there. I'm not going to call yep. it an industry. So Michael said he's had enough. I'm going to keep going a little yeah. bit longer just in case there's a bit of atmosphere that I might need to hang over the next bit of sync mm. or next shot, something like that. Always, always better to take a little bit more than you think you need because if you need to add it later, it's more difficult. So what we can do now is, if I can remember how to do it, is replay that edit. So there's a button here called replay. And I think, if I remember correctly, that will go back, pre-roll the exact same time, and it also brings the edit up on the screen that you're looking at. 